Today, we're watching an episode of The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, with a little help from you and a friend. Stay tuned for a game at the end of this episode. Are you ready to play? Yeah! Avengers, assemble! That's him. Wait, what am I looking for again? A giant cat? It was a man. Can the projectionist make this brighter? Uh, sure. Jarvis, run a full spectrum analysis, will you? And make it brighter. Look at that. Whatever he's wearing, it's absorbent to all energy spectra. And what he did to Jarvis. The system still doesn't register there having been another person there. Okay, fine. I'll admit it. Whoever this intruder is, he's got some okay technology. All I know is this man in black saved my life. He's an ally, not an enemy. Intruder alert. So he's not an Avenger. Definitely not. Hardware damage. Shield generators offline. You think you're fast? Dodge these. What happened? Well, he didn't dodge them. I did mention that his suit seemed to be absorbent to. Watch out! <laughs> now, are you ready to talk about this? You know what? I've had just about enough of Super Tech Cat Ninja Guy. I agree. Hank! Don't even think about it. Enough! What's your game, mister? You saved my life and attack us, and now you expect us to believe you're just going to surrender? I am not surrendering, Captain. I have simply seen enough. I wanted to assess your abilities firsthand. I am T'Challa. The Prince of Wakanda? B but what are you doing here? I need your help. What do you need our help for? You kind of mopped the floor with all four of us. Yeah, well, for the record, I was holding back. But Jan's right. We are kind of busy with an army of escaped supervillains. My country has been overthrown by just such a villain. A brutal fiend called M'Baku the Man-Ape. I need your help to get past the Wakandan people so I can restore the throne. Get past the Wakandan people? If your people are following this Man-Ape of their own free will, that's the end of the story. That's what the people want. You do not understand. The people are the problem. They follow the old ways. Man-Ape won the throne in combat. They feel they must follow him, no matter if it destroys everything. And the Man-Ape will destroy everything. I don't get it. I'm sure he's bad news and all, but how can he destroy everything? Vibranium. I've studied it firsthand. It's nothing to mess around with. And legend has it, Wakanda's sitting on a mountain of it. The Vibranium Mound. It is our treasure. 
and our responsibility. For centuries, we have defended it against any who would exploit it. That kind of resource should belong to everyone. Vibranium has the potential to change the world. I agree, but not necessarily for the better. Uh, yeah. Stark Industries investigated the possibility of using Vibranium to make weapons. It was a long time ago. My people tried to deal with King T'Chaka. Where is he now? If this man-ape is going to put lives in danger, we have to do something. Lives are in danger, Avenger. Computer, satellite view of Wakanda. Wakanda can't be seen on satellite. Trust me, I've tried. Zoom in. Okay, how exactly do you know my systems inside and out? I studied them. Inside and out. Hydra. That's Grim Reaper, one of Strucker's guys. But who's Abe Lincoln there? I've met him. Ulysses Claw. He created a device that converts vibranium into a sonic weapon. So, who's up for invading Wakanda? Thor still isn't responding to his ID card. Probably taking a trip to Fantasyland. So, we need to go through Torment Forest, past Piranha Cove, but we have to avoid the chasm of... What was it? Icy clouds? Chilling mists. Right. You okay, Cap? In my day, if something went this high, we didn't call it an airplane. What did you call it? Science fiction. This is not the path I laid out. You should avoid this area. The jungle here is too well protected. Don't worry, the Quinjet has the best cloaking tech there is. Mine. Where content defense tech is better. Jet. You chose not to listen to me, Stark. It was a mistake. You and me need to have a little talk, Kitty. Hey, would you look at the time? Shouldn't we be somewhere? Like in a big fight against Hydra? Right, here's the plan. We take down Hydra and protect the Vibranium Mound. Then we deal with Manape. Do not underestimate the Wakandan army, which is heading this way. I wish you well. But I will deal with Manape myself. <laughs> left. You have got to be kidding me. What? I... Okay, fine. Cap, go after him. But you need... Understood. Wow. He didn't argue with me or anything. Uh, everyone, take notes. He's a soldier. He follows orders. Even bad ones. Now it's just the three of us against all of Wakanda, Hydra, and a supervillain. That's how much faith I have in you two. Come on. I've dealt with Hydra before. And Wakanda, not a problem. <laughs> Okay, maybe a little problem. And that is only scratching the surface of the metal's potential. An army equipped with these could... It'll do. Baron Strucker and Hydra, thank you for your openness. Your Highness. You think me a fool? I know you outsiders value the Vibranium more than the gold you offer. I'm not one to judge. The Vibranium has corrupted Wakanda, weakened it. I will restore my land to its natural state without the Panther tribe's technology. If Hydra will pay my price, they are welcome to it. They will pay more for the Vibranium. Let me... Claw, watch yourself. If Stroker thinks he can cut me out, he's sorely mistaken. Only I have the technology to tap into the Vibranium's power. You, do as I say, or that metal will blow up right in your face. Now, that's not very friendly, is it? Lord Umbako, Wakandan defenses have shut down an unidentified aircraft. An army division has engaged outsiders within our borders. 
If Hydra crosses me, you will not live to regret it. No. This isn't Hydra. This is something else. <gasps> Your tenacity is admirable, but you are very out of place in the jungle, Captain. You came to us for help, so here I am. This is my burden to bear, alone. So the Avengers were what? A distraction? You're just using us to get past your own people? Man-Ape is mine. Well, I've got my orders. Besides, I owe you one. You saved my life, remember? So you can let me help you, or we can go another round. Man-Ape took my father, and I did nothing. I failed him. I know you can understand that, Captain. Please, let me do this. Okay, so that was <coughs> a little harder than it should have been. Huh. For an uncharted African nation, They've got tech that's decades ahead of anything we've got. If Hydra gets their hands on any of this... They won't. I kind of wish Thor would answer his stupid phone. Our warriors in the jungle do not respond. I beg you, rid Wakanda of all the outsiders. T'Chaka would never... I am king! Not the Black Panther! The Black Panther is no more! You are wrong, M'Baku. The Black Panther challenges you for the throne of Wakanda. T'Challa, a challenge has been issued. By tribal law, you must... Run. I have no use for tradition. Crush the Panther Cup. You're number 34, but we can take you early. Finally, someone to hurt. So, are you all insane? You cannot do this in the Vibranium mine! Do you know what I like most about Africa? Dorlis Mandibularis, better known as African Army Ants. <laughs> Him, you fool! The Vibranium Mound. If it absorbs too much energy... It'll overload. And with that much Vibranium, the explosion will take out half of Africa. Wasp! Iron Man! No! Everyone stay back! I think we're done with you, Claw. <laughs> This episode will end. Well, if Claw's trying to scare Iron Man, Ant-Man, and Wasp by being loud, they should cover their ears. That's what I do during thunderstorms. I put my hands over my ears and squeeze really tight until I can't hear anything. Or maybe Iron Man can use the vibranium to make everyone headphones. Iron Man's would be red and yellow, Ant-Man's would be red and black, and Wasp would be yellow and black, so they don't match. And then Claw would have to give up because no one would be paying him attention anymore. They'd be listening to music on their new headphones. Claw's loss is certainly music to my ears. Woo! Let's see how Iron Man, Ant-Man, and Wasp quiet down Claw in this episode of The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. I can hear you, Hydra, you snakes. <laughs> Take whatever by 
Brittany, if you have a launch. Hydra's pulling out. That's mine! So does anyone have a plan? Mine is earplugs, but it's kind of short term. <laughs> <laughs> Your father trained them well, Cub. You do not have to do this. You can face Man Ape alone. Anyone else is fair game. Tear the outsider apart. I will deal with the Panther. <laughs> Sting! Sting! Bugs! Sting! <laughs> Bugs get Same mercy you showed my father. Ask him yourself when you join him. A gift from Claw. Fitting. You meet your end the same way your father did. But you were not even the man he was. You go to outsiders for help. No outsider can help you now. him wasn't your best plan. No kidding. Hank, you know Vibranium better than anyone else. What happened and how do we stop it? Whatever's happened to Claude would appear that he's become some kind of sound form. His body is now made of pure sound. So we have to shut him up. How? I saw Claude transform. I, I can't explain it, but his sound form is somehow being projected from his sonic emitter. And we can contain it with the same thing that created it. Vibranium. Jan, you keep Claw busy. Tony and I have work to do. This is the man who has brought catastrophe to our land. The one who took your king through cowardice and dishonor. T'Challa. when you had the chance. Because now that you're a giant 50 foot tall energy thing, you're going down. We might have let you slide before. No, you're 
you're right. We wouldn't have. Enough! Enough! Your wings make sound! Annoying sound! Sound is vibration! Sound pressure! <laughs> pressure! Honestly, I thought this plan would be a little more high-tech. The vibranium should contain the sound from Claw's sonic emitter. There's just a small chance that the vibrational shockwave could cause destructive interference and then explode. I heard destructive and explode. Of course, we have to get to the emitter first. You'll have to fly into Claw. It might, uh, tingle. A lot. Great. I can't believe that worked. Tony, you did great. How do you feel? Great, now make me stop vibrating. The true king of Wakanda has returned. Now we may purify our land of the outsiders and return to the old ways. Rise, my friend. Outsiders may have threatened Wakanda, but outsiders saved us as well. The old ways allowed Manape to do this, and the old ways must change. My first order as king is to let the council lead Wakanda. A council of the people. We can no longer hide ourselves away, waiting for our enemies to come to us. What happens in Wakanda affects the world, so I will go out into the world. I will fight alongside our new allies. You attacked us, you used us, you abandoned us. Now you want to join us? Why should we trust you? You shouldn't. I will earn your trust. Should you allow me to join you? He's probably our best bet for a ride home, too. You're in. Attention, Shield Command. This is Hulkbuster Unit 221 approaching the cube. We are go for recon. Stay sharp. I don't want any... Ah! <laughs> 